This is your Venus in Taurus, how and what you love. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Nina. I'm a Western tropical astrologer who's been studying astrology since 2014 and reading professionally since 2017. To book a reading with me, you can go to ninabeastrology.com. But today we are continuing on with the Venus series, getting into Venus in Taurus. So last time when we talked about Venus in Aries, I mentioned a lot about how Venus in Aries is in its detriment. There are some Venus or any kind of placements for that matter that are more intuitive, less intuitive, more opportune, less opportune. And Venus in Taurus is considered to be one of the more intuitive placements. With it being in its domicile, Venus in Taurus is Venus in a sign that is ruled by Venus. So as you can probably intuit, Venus in Taurus makes a lot of sense. That being said, the domicile placement is not considered more opportune than the exalted placement. And there are some trappings that can be found in the domicile placement because sometimes it can be just so even too intuitive for growth. So in this video, we'll be getting into everything that makes Venus and Taurus beautiful and intuitive and lovely to have. And some of the things that you might run into as a Venus in Taurus that might be important to be more conscious of. Now, this is just an interpretation of a pure Venus and Taurus, if you will, there's so much more that influences your Venus's expression in your unique birth chart. So you can check out my aspects to Venus video here. At the end of this series, I'll also be doing Venus through the houses, which has a lot to do with how you experience your Venus. And of course, if you want to book a reading with me, which is 100% personalized to what your Venus is doing, everything is in the description. Venus is representative of values and Taurus rules the second house of values. So with Venus, it's indicative of what you value, the kind of love that you want to accept into your life and what kind of value relationships bring into your life and love brings into your life. And Taurus is all about that very practical value. Taurus wants security, it wants stability, it wants safety. So with Venus and Taurus, love is a really smooth, lovely ride in a lot of ways. You can sense this intuitive pairing of wanting to let people into your life that bring you stable, secure value. And not just in a practical or material sense, but in terms of comfort, that social value that you seek for relationships to bring into your life is something of comfort and really true love. Loving is easy with Venus and Taurus. Love is simple. There's no sort of games and whatnot that we talked about with Venus and Aries, about the chase and the psychological games of winner, loser, whatever, winning someone else over. It's definitely not about the chase with Venus and Taurus. It's about the have. It's about the sense of security and love and affirmation that you feel by having a partner in your life. And so Venus and Taurus can certainly in a lot of ways be extremely relationship oriented because your Venus is in a sign that has to do with Venus, right? <laughs> the way that Venus and Taurus also tends to express love is in a very sensual way. Taurus rules the five senses. So Venus and Taurus likely likes to indulge in the five senses in their relationships. There's also the five love languages and Venus and Taurus being such an intuitive placement for Venus probably likes to practice and receive all five love languages at pretty 
equal scales. Venus and Taurus can never feel too secured or too loved. That's the thing. It's like Venus and Taurus is not looking to play games like Venus and Aries, be self-protective or shy away from people who are too clingy or smothering. Venus and Taurus likes dependability and love. In some ways, might even like ownership. Venus and Taurus can definitely have some more traditional views of relationships. And again, Taurus rules that second house of value and of personal possessions. So these themes of stability, dependability, security might all point to more traditional values in love and relationships. And that can include the sort of feeling that the person that you're in a relationship with sort of belongs to you, is very much an asset to you. And even though the Venus and Taurus doesn't have that same mentality of winning someone over and playing that game to win someone over like Venus and Aries can have, it can still feel a sense of value and self-esteem by having someone, by feeling a certain sense of ownership over someone or feeling like someone belongs to them. So you can tell that that can go in a couple of ways. It can go very like possessive and stifling and, uh, you know, closed minded and overly traditional because their values make so much sense and therefore can tend to be relatively traditional or it can be extremely romantic and sensual, feeling like I want someone that belongs to me, that's my person, and be, you know, romantic in that way. Of course, the nuances of the way that your particular Venus and Taurus manifests itself is dependent on aspects, house placements, the rest of your chart, how prevalent Venus is in your birth chart. So it can veer on the side of possessiveness or it can veer on the side of just valuing connection and partnership. And beyond Venus representing what we value and how we love, how we behave in relationships, it also gives an indication of what we believe our value to be. So Venus and Taurus can go in the direction of feeling that their greatest value is in their ability to provide what they have to offer practically. And if not practically, then perhaps they feel that their value is their ability to love, their ability to be affectionate and loyal. And just really when it comes down to it, their relationship material. That's what Venus and Taurus is. It's relationship material. But again, in very much that traditional, commitment-oriented, monogamous sort of way. And for that reason, Venus and Taurus might have a greater difficulty in the modern dating world that operates with more psychological games or with a win-lose mentality sometimes. Because <laughs> Taurus Venus wants love to be easy, wants love to be simple. There may even be a resentment from how society modernly has veered away from traditional relationship values and even gender roles. To Venus and Taurus, if it's not broke, then don't fix it. <laughs> so it can be confusing, overwhelming, or simply unappealing to have so many tricky games and rules that are experienced in the modern dating world. Even the technology aspect, you know, Taurus squares Aquarius, which is all about innovation and revolution, radicality, changing the traditions. Taurus is also square Leo. So again, I keep saying that Venus and Taurus, love is simple. Love is straightforward. So it's not flashy in that Leo way, and it's not self-aggrandizing in that Leo way. Venus and Taurus may not even be very social. Taurus is a feminine sign, which means that 
it operates more on an internal level rather than an external social level. So some Venus and Tauruses might not find anything appealing in sort of doing the most like Venus and Leo might, performing their relationship in a big way. They can still very much have a sense of pride for their partner that they have, particularly if they lean into the sort of qualities of Venus and Taurus that might enjoy the idea of ownership of their partner. It can feel like the more beautiful or overall appealing that their partner is, the more that they can take pride in having been able to be in possession of that partner, be the partner to that person. But another way that you can see Taurus Venus qualities be so different from Leo Venus qualities is that Venus and Taurus also loves the simple pleasures of life. Now, don't get me wrong, Venus and Taurus definitely denotes a love for luxury and specifically anything that is particularly sensual. Not luxury for luxury's sake to the point that it might look tacky or braggadocious like that squaring sign Leo, but luxury in the sense of loving the most quality sheets or wanting a spectacularly comfortable vacation, gourmet, amazing meals, anything that is truly quality and therefore might be a luxury. But the Venus and Taurus's pursuit of luxury comes more from a sensorial experience than from a performative motivation. The other sign that Venus in Taurus is in conflict with is Scorpio. And reason being that loving is easy, loving is simple with Venus in Taurus. Whereas Scorpio is a sign that overthinks things potentially and definitely has a lot of intensity with the way that they experience relationships. Both might have the common ground of caring deeply about their partners and almost like the possession or ownership or intimate connection between them and another partner, but whereas the Scorpio modus operandi is sort of through passion and excitement and oftentimes emotional turmoil that might come from trauma or desperation and we'll get all into all of that when we get into Venus and Scorpio. Venus and Taurus wants that attachment for the sake of feeling a sense of security, for the sake of feeling that comfort and having reliability from another person. That urge to be comfortable and to have a sense of dependability and stability in their life through their relationships might even sometimes be a hindrance to Venus and Taurus making them stay in a relationship that isn't as satisfying as what some other relationship might have to offer simply because of a fear of not having that comfort, not having that security, or, you know, doing that outward directed social thing of dating, especially with all of the complications and social games that can be involved with dating. Venus and Taurus is likely to find a partner and stick with them. And a beautiful thing about that is, you know, the reliability, dependability, loyalty. Venus and Taurus isn't going to want to do anything to put the stability of their relationship in detriment. But sometimes that results in complacency. Sometimes that results in settling rather than truly finding Venus and Taurus's perfect person that really checks off all of the boxes. So let's recap the main points of what Venus in Taurus means in the birth chart. As a Venus in Taurus, you might have more traditional values, more family values even. You want relationships to 
be for the long haul and likely are not interested in relationship gains, secrecy, and you probably find that the value that you have to provide in a relationship is more practical or even more inherent and simple. You either provide very monetarily with physical security, money even, especially if you're a male, sort of being the breadwinner might be something that you find to be your value in a relationship, or providing emotional security, providing comfort and beauty to your partner. Venus and Taurus enjoys all of the healthy pleasures of life, luxury, sensuality, always for the sake of one's own indulgence rather than anything braggadocious or for the sake of other people admiring you. Love can be easy, love can be simple with Venus and Taurus. There's not a lot of need for big extravagant things. The simple pleasures of life sometimes are just the most fulfilling, especially when they're intimate and sensual with the love of your life. That being said, Venus and Taurus does enjoy providing. So if by chance you're watching this and you're trying to court or you're dating a Venus and Taurus and you're frustrated with their sometimes complacency, just having dates being sitting on the couch, Netflixing and chilling, expressing that you want something more can very much go over well, especially if their sensual or luxurious outcome of a different kind of date, like a nice dinner, a luxurious experience. However, the Venus and Taurus is not particularly socially motivated. They might even just enjoy spending quality time with their partner that doesn't involve conversation or mental stimulation, just closeness and knowing that they have that person, that they belong to that person, that person belongs to them, that's their person, and they can just spend quiet, quality time, enjoying each other's company and knowing that they have that safety net of love, they have that security. Again, sometimes that security, that need for dependability puts them in a box, leaves them in a comfort zone in a way that they might not move beyond their own complacency. And sometimes the world and the social norms and what the dating experience is like in that great big world can be infuriating or intimidating or just unpleasant to the Venus and Taurus, maybe even creating some resentment for the fact that relationship values are not as simple as Venus and Taurus believes that they should be. But ultimately, Venus and Taurus are such loyal, lovely, sensual, loving partners that are so cozy and that can create such comfort to be around. And they have very big hearts that they are wanting and willing to share. So that is the Venus and Taurus video for this series. I would love to know how my interpretation resonates with you in the comments below. Again, there is more to your Venus than just its sign. Stay tuned for the rest of the Venus series to check out Venus in the houses. And you can also check out my Aspects to Venus video. If you want to book a reading with me, you can do so at ninabastrology.com. If you love some good quality, comfy clothes that also express your love for astrology, you can check out my merch at ninabastrology.com slash shop. Sign up to my newsletter if you would like to stay in the loop about future services and offerings as well as monthly astrological check-ins every new moon. But that is all from me for today. I hope that you have a great rest of your day or night and thank you so much for watching. Bye.